story. Joining us now, RNC committee man, David Bossy. David, how much worse is this going to get? Well, you, you hit the nail right on the head with that intro. It, it is such a sad, sad state of affairs that we find ourselves in. In sh eight short months, uh, the Biden administration is literally destroying our country before our eyes. We have a border crisis, a crime crisis. We have an Afghanistan crisis. We have an inflation crisis. And this guy has the gall to talk, to lecture the American people about climate change when they want answers on Americans that have been left behind enemy lines in Afghanistan. He, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are flying to California, okay? Harris is in California today, and Joe Biden is going in a few days to California to campaign for the incompetent boob that is the California government, this governor, to save him. What At a time of national emergency, they have politics on their mind. This is going to get a lot worse for the American people uh, and for America before it gets better. You're so right. They're more concerned about saving a governorship here than they are saving Americans. But that's the point. They're just all about power and holding on to power no matter the cost. And that's why they're not listening to the American people. They don't care. The arrogance and hubris that is this Biden administration is quite disgusting. And I don't believe that any American, I don't care if you voted for Donald Trump or Joe Biden, that you would have thought that this would be the Obama administration eight months on. The, 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 the polling that we are seeing coming out of uh, the national po public polls uh, and, and some specific state polls, but mostly the national polls are showing a remorse, a buyer's remorse. Folks who voted for Joe Biden who have said, we are not getting what we thought. We are not getting the unity that Joe Biden you know, said and campaigned on. We're not getting a moderate presidency. We're getting a socialist left-wing agenda jammed down our throats. We've got a $3.5 trillion on top of $1.6 trillion in new spending that they're trying to foist on the American taxpayer. Uh, all at a time when inflation is out of control and our economy is on the rocks. Just this past month's jobs numbers show how weak the economy is because of Joe Biden. And if you look, Joe Biden has wrecked uh, the economic uh, recovery that, that President Trump left him. It's so sad because that great American comeback was poised to take off. Biden didn't have to do anything. As President Trump often says, he should have just gone to the beach <laughs> so, and we would be so much exactly. better off than we are right now. But when you look at it, the people, the top issues of the people right now, it's election integrity and now it's Afghanistan. But those are two issues that the media in general, they're choosing not to talk about. They want to talk about Ron DeSantis. They want to talk about COVID. They want to talk about climate change. They're not going to get away with it, though, because people are showing up and even telling Biden to his face what they think about him. I loved seeing that video. It, it, it must drive the president crazy. Uh, and I'm so proud of the American people to stand up and tell him to his face what they think of him. We're, we, we have a, a, a very long, yet in, in political terms, short 14 months till the midterm elections when Republicans can put an end to the Biden presidency by winning back the House and possibly winning back the Senate. I believe we have a better chance today than we've had in the last couple of years of winning back the majority in the United States Senate. Uh, and, and it really all comes down to what Biden is doing. We have to just let him have to defend. And those incumbent Rep uh, Democrat members of the House and Senate have to defend, campaign and defend these bad votes and this bad policy. It's so interesting to see that even Newsom thinks that Biden and Harris are going to be good for him right now, because when you look at the polling data, the unfavorability ratings, of course, Kamala Harris was never popular to begin with. She couldn't get past zero percent during the presidential <laughs> primaries. But what right. do they think they have? Do they really think that they can keep talking at people and somehow we're just going to be like, wow, you're so amazing when the results we're living are the complete opposite? It's such a great question. This election, the recall election on question one, which is to recall Gavin Newsom or not, 
it, it is very, very close. The mainstream media, they're putting out polls right now that says, oh, this isn't a race. Gavin Newsom is easily going to hold on, easily. He's up by 10, he's up by 15. Well, guess what? In 2020, uh, in October of 2020, ABC News and The Washington Post put out a Wisconsin state poll that showed Joe Biden winning by 17 points. And they did that to hold down the Republican vote. It's to discourage Republican voters. And Joe Biden ended up winning, or not, but he ended up getting more votes by about 0.5% in Wisconsin. Not 17, but one half of 1%. And that's what the left does. They want to, that's how they hold our voters down. That's what they're doing. And that's what they're doing in California. And Joe, to your question, Joe Biden and Harris are going out there because they know it's close. They're not going out there because he's up by 15 points, spending a full day and a half. Joe Biden can't afford the nap time to, f to fly out to California and back. You're so right. Maybe he's going to sleep on the plane. But, oh, if we could only have a recall election of <laughs> Biden and Harris right now, can you imagine? Oh, oh man. And if it was free and fair and out. honest, that's what we need well, right that's, now. That, that's first what we'd have to make sure of. First and foremost, right. but Joe Biden, uh, Joe Biden would be swept out of office if we were able to call an election uh, in, 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 in like in Israel in the next 60 or 90 days. He would be swept out and right. Donald Trump would be swept back into office. The, the buyer's remorse, the folks who have voted, you know, the poll after poll. And this is only going to continue to get bigger and bigger numbers. People are tired, sick and tired of this irresponsible, incompetent White House. And I think that we are going to have some big victories. And President Trump must be sitting back, and I know he is, sitting back, looking at the at what he's doing to America and having to make a decision to whether or not he does it again to save this great nation. It's amazing to see what President Trump is doing, fighting for the people of this country still. When you look at even next year with the midterms, getting good people in the primaries, it's so important because we are going to lose our country if we don't fight back now. David, thank you for the good work you're doing out there. We'll look forward to getting an update from you soon because we just have to save America. Every day that goes by, it just keeps getting worse, and we can't let that happen. I couldn't agree more. Thanks for having me. Always. Look forward to